And welcome back. I'm John Bachman. We're back with Congressman Reed Ribble of Wisconsin. And right now we're going to bring in CNBC contributor, political commentator, and best-selling author, Carol Roth. Carol, thanks for joining us on this conversation. Thanks, John. You know, I wanted to kick it off by going back to Congressman Ribble on something that he said in the, the last block. Well, sure. Let me, just, uh, let me just reset everything for everybody. We were talking about Iran, and we were also talking about the president. So go ahead, Carol. What do you want to say? Well, I, I wanted to, to go back to one of the things the congressman was saying and, and that really stood out to me, which was that there were naysayers who thought that Congress possibly shouldn't be getting involved, that they should just stay out of it. And from my perspective, I, I don't understand that philosophy at all. I thought we were supposed to have checks and balances, and that's the whole point of having these different branches of government, that we want Congress to get involved and to make sure that we are getting right deals, especially when we have a president who seems to be a really terrible negotiator when you look at everything from the Iran deal to what happened with Bo Bergdahl. Well, fair enough. And I think, you know, there are a lot of folks would say that bill proposed by Bob Menendez and Bob Corker would would fill that void there of, of some sort of review from Congress on this. But that's a different topic, Carol. We want to talk about this gerrymandering issue that Congressman uh, Ribble is supporting right now. And it takes a look at, at this case out of Arizona. And I believe the case's exact name is Arizona State Legislator legislature v. Arizona Independent Redistricting Commission. And I'm going to read from SCOTUS blog because they know a lot more about this stuff than I do. And it's about whether the elections clause of the U.S. Constitution will permit Arizona's use of a commission to adopt congressional voting district. And it might sound wonky, but this basically has to do with the way all of us in this country elect our officials. Congressman Ribble, you have joined in in, in support, even though you're from, your, you're from Wisconsin, you support these folks in Arizona, uh, the legislators in Arizona. Tell us why. Uh, well, well, because I, I believe that when uh, a government chooses to uh, uh, allow the citizens to vote via referenda, they are in essence creating a de facto legislator legislature in that vote. And what what the legis state legislature in Arizona is trying to do is overrule or, or overturn the will of the people in this case. And their argument is, well, it is given to a legislature in the in the uh, constitution. But I would argue that in, in the case of a referenda, they are actually creating a legislator. Now, Carol, what do you say? Do you think gerrymandering is a problem that the Supreme Court really needs to address here? I think we have so many problems, I don't even know where to start, but certainly gerrymandering is one of them. We have this um, illusion that we have choice in our government, and from my perspective, we really don't. We have two major parties that control the country, and you have a, a, you know, a menu of people that you get to pick from who they decide. And so overturning the will of the people seems a little bit problematic to me in terms of language. I think if that is the will of the people, we need a little bit more accountability in government. And unfortunately, the way that we are structured today, the people who we are electing are not willing to, to basically vote themselves out of office. I would be in, in, in favor of fixing the gerrymandering. I'd be in favor of um, in, enacting term limits. But it's very difficult to do that by the people that we have elected, given the structure we have today. So giving a little bit of um, control back to the people, even if that in and of itself still may be a little bit of an illusion. I think is a good thing for this country. Well, Congressman, let me ask you this, because I would imagine that the, the lawyers arguing on behalf of the Arizona Independent Redistricting Commission would say, look, this is the people of the state of Arizona speaking here. But would you say, on the other hand, that these folks might be confused? We don't live in an actual democracy here. We live in a republic. Well, we do live in a republic, and, and they're different because you, you, you basically the people send representatives to be their mouthpiece, and that's why those legislatures, whether in the state or in the Congress, are important. But I, I don't think that uh, our founders ever intended a circumstance where the legislatures were choosing their voters based on a political affiliation rather than voters choosing a representative to be their mouthpiece. And I think that's what's happened over time. And Carol, what I don't, do you think? I don't, th I don't think that the founding fathers envisioned the big government that we have today, frankly. So well, I, I think not. that that's a, a little bit of a, of a straw man here. I, I think the government has gotten completely out of control and beyond the scope of what it should be. And without the people having some sort of ability to take back some of that control, I don't know how we get change. Oh, that's true. And uh, there is certainly uh, some political will to take a, a closer look at this. And it, it we, remains to be seen on how these justices rule as to whether or not this is going to be the case that kind of finds what takes place in the future, because these uh, districts are, are drawn a lot of times by state legislatures. And that power can shift from one party to the next. Do you think there could be potential backlash here that both sides aren't really 
anticipating, Congressman. Well, I, I don't know if there's going to be backlash. I think I think there would I think there would be backlash depending how the Supreme Court rules. If the Supreme Court rules for the Arizona legislature, there you could see some backlash because they're actually overturning the will of the people, and then the people would have to respond in via the next election to change the people that are representing them. And and there is that moral hazard that's injected into our electoral process, but the process itself has been rigged against those very people that want to see the change. And that's why I put why I oppose gerrymandering so strongly. All right, thanks a lot for your time, Congress. We're going to let you go. We know you got the people's work to attend to. We're going to keep Carol around a little bit longer, and we're going to talk about Benjamin Netanyahu's return and progress since he's been back in Israel since that speech. We're right back. I'm John Bachman filling in for Ed Berliner on Midpoint today. Thanks for sticking around. We're back right after this short commercial break.